Well, now I am going to explain the starting procedure for the micro turbine, this turbojet engine. As one can see, these are all the components laid out on the test bench. Uh, the first thing you do is turn on the radio transmitter. Once you do that, you turn on the receiver switch, which is right here, the battery pack, you turn that on and then you connect the, bat the ECU battery using the two uh, terminals and then you just turn the emergency valve on to let fuel in and then you put the trim fully up on the radio and turn on the gas which here in this case all you have to do is press this downwards on the gas can and then push the, the throttle stick on the radio fully up and fully down which starts the starting procedure and it displays well on the GDT. It takes about a uh, few seconds to spool up uh, till, till the time you actually have to keep the gas on to keep it pressed so that the, the, it helps the turbines uh, spool up and heat up the fuel and combustion goes on smoothly. When it reaches 40,000 RPM, you uh, leave the gas, the gas can be left alone and uh, the turbine keeps accelerating up till idle speed which is 55, around 55,000 RPM. At that speed uh, it's known as uh, above self-sustained speed which is idle speed and uh, the turbine runs smoothly at that speed. Keep your eye on the EGT temperature, uh, exhaust gas temperature as well as uh, the fuel tank. There should be enough fuel. Now you're ready to uh, spool the turbine up or down up to max speed, keep it at 75 for a while and to turn it off, to switch it back off, bring it back to idle using your radio and then bring the trim fully down. That will start the, the stopping procedure.